For cheat games, MSP and PS their money, check out my sponsor G2A, the link's down below in the description, and use the code RIG3 for 3% cash back. Alright guys, let me show you some cards that I recommend picking up ahead of Fuma, so if you guys will enjoy this video, and if you do, please smash the like button down below. So over the last few days, there's been a bit of a market crash, so for an example, Neymar, he's dropped by like 100k on the PlayStation, 80k on the Xbox, Gomez, he's dropped by like 13k on the Xbox and also on the PlayStation, and there's been a lot of crashes like that. And for one of the cards I've actually got to invest in, it is the 83 red cards. Now with these, most of these cards have actually halved in price, and because of that, they are very good investments. For Rubin as well, can usually like save 200, 300 coins per card. When picking these up, pick up ones from the main leagues, try and pick up ones that are outfield players as well, because usually they do go up a little bit more, and with these cards they're Fumus. They should be required for a lot of SBCs, so for the 8 free red cards, definitely recommend picking up some of these. Next up for this video, I want to talk about the cheap team, the weak cards, because last year for these, a lot of them actually went up by like 4 or 5k at times, some of them went up by like 10k coins, because like, with the SBCs, a lot of them last year did require team the weak cards, and this year, hopefully it'll be very similar. So for the cards that you want to pick up, you want to pick up ones from the main leagues, and also ones from decent nations, so for an example, this guy, good nation there with France in the French League, could be a good card to pick up. This guy just here, 10k coins as well, like, he discards 9,800, you're risking 200 coins to him in the Bundesliga, potentially could be a good investment, so, um, yeah, the team of the week cards, just look for some decent nations and also good leagues, and with them, hopefully their price will go up over footmas. Going into the next thing for this video now, which is high rate team of the week cards, because I know some of you guys are going to ask about these, so for these cards, they will most likely be good for some of the SBCs, but as investments, they are very risky at the second, so um, for like the cheapest 83, 84, 85, 86 red team the week cards, compared to two weeks ago when the price started to go up for them, it is still up by quite a bit, so because of that, it does make these cards risky, but at the same time, they will be required for quite a few of the SBCs most likely, so the higher red team the week cards, it's up to you really if you want to risk some coins in these. For me, probably going to stick with the cheap team the week cards since you're not risking much and for them, there is the potential to make some okay prof off them, so going to go into the next tip right now. Next up for this video, I want to talk about rare steel players from the main nations and also from good leagues. So for these, you want to pick them up like 250, 300 coins, and with these cards, if a challenge SBC comes along that requires rare players and silvers, usually their price goes up by a nice amount, like oh Black Friday, for some of the challenge SBCs, that took all their price up to like 1,000, 2,000 coins at times. So um, yeah, rare players, well, rare steel players from the main nations, main leagues, pick up some of them. Going into the next tip for this video is to pick up some red golds for 600 or 650 from the main league. So for these cards, they may be good for some of the challenge SBCs and if that doesn't happen, usually we do get some upgrade SBCs at some point and when they come out for red golds from the main leagues, they usually come up to like 1,200, 1,300 coins. So with these cards, might as well pick some up, keep them in your club and at some point, they'll make you some easy coins. Right, let's go into the final thing for this video which is like 85, 86, 87, 88 red cards. So when it comes to these, they will be required for the SBCs, but as investments, their price is actually still up at the second, so um, it does make them very risky. So for these cards, I'm probably not going to invest them like the 8 free cards. I think they're very safe for the second, very good chance of doubling your coins on them. With the higher red cards, if you want to invest in them, you can, but yeah, the 8 free red cards, I do think they're probably going to be the best ones. So that will be it for this video now, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, make sure you smash the like button, and peace.